And now to the war in Ukraine. A key victory in Ukraine driving back Russian forces has those of Ukrainian heritage around Rochester celebrating the progress. There are local efforts happening right now to send donations right to the newly liberated area. Alex Love joins us in studio with more details. Alex. Well, the city of Kherson was, was occupied by Russia's army since March, Isabel. Now that its people are free, volunteers with the Ukrainian Culture Center, Rakhmadan, are hopeful the war can be won, but stress their homeland still needs help. Since war broke out, Oleg Lebeko, who immigrated from Ukraine in 1995, has been following every battle. He credits Ukraine's progress for being unified in their cause against Vladimir Putin's lies. Showing that Ukrainian army is organized, uh, it's uh, disciplined, and the Russian army is all based on lies. Basically, like the whole country is based on lies. The reporting and the organization and the discipline is not there anymore. After hearing the news, Kherson was free. Lebeko is working to get back in contact with old colleagues he hasn't heard from since the war began, praying they're okay. I tried to contact him uh, the end of February when the war started, and uh, he just replied very briefly. And uh, after that, I couldn't get in touch with him, so I hope I'll try to do it in the next couple of days. I hope he'll be able to respond. With this latest victory in Kherson, Rachmadan has directed its latest shipments to go help the liberated city after it was packaged right here in Rochester. Among the cargo is 200 tactical backpacks filled with medical supplies and warm clothes to go directly to soldiers on the front lines, but also dozens of hospital beds that were purchased through local donations to go resupply medical facilities that were shelled by the Russians. I don't think we're planning to stop uh, because uh, you can see how much uh, damage made in Ukraine. So our help, what's coming from Rochester community, I'm sure it's very important to, to Ukraine, to Ukrainian people. Within all this aid is also a postcard from elementary schoolers to motivate Ukrainians to never give up. A man done K-5 grade school donated us. Um, cards they made handmade cards they actually used in art class and then the teachers went and printed had every kid write a message that they're standing with ukrainian